D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and today I'm going to show you how this component works this is called a motor protector and you'll find these in a uh, on scroll compressors large scroll compressors 10 tons and above I'll say all right so I'm going to show you it's called core sense these are the latest ones and you could do a lot with these you even have a uh, mud bus co communication on it but I'm gonna go over a quick overview if you haven't seen one before if you have seen it you don't know what it is what to do with it the ships with the compressor um, this one particular one you can see here the supply voltage is 24 volts however some control system they are using 240 or even 120 so you got to be mindful of that so I'm gonna go over do a quick overview of what these are how they're supposed to work so if, if you're on a job and you're replacing the compressor, if you're replacing the scroll compressor, um, you more than likely is gonna run into one of these. And if you are new to this, or if you're old to this, and you have never seen one, then you'll be pretty much be amazed and you would not know what to do with it. All right? So like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. I do upload videos on a weekly basis. All right, this here is a big old mammoth unit literally it's called a mammoth all right so let's jump into the compressor okay so here is here is one of the old compressor that came with the unit all right that's a the one that originally shipped with the manufacturer or from the manufacturer all right and here is the old motor protector maybe you are familiar with this one but you aren't familiar with the newer technology right so this compressor you can't find this anymore so when the compressor dies you have to replace it with something like this copeland scroll okay so uh, I'm going to show you how, how, uh, how this works, a quick overview, how to deal with it, how to hook it up, etc. Stay tuned. Okay, so here is the cover that comes on the compressor. Right, this is supposed to be in here, covers everything up, nice and neat. Okay, keeps under here, just like that. But for this video, it's already off. I'm going to show you what's going on here. Let me zoom in. Now, remember I was saying that the modules comes in different voltage or voltages. This is 24 volts, this particular one. So, it's not being used here because the controls here and this particular scenario is uh, 120. So, look at the voltage in this one. Okay. So make sure you're using the right voltage first of all because uh, sometimes they'll ship in the compressor pre-installed they'll ship 24 volts so you got to make sure that the the uh the the controller match, matches your system control voltage all right that's the first thing all right now i'm going to show you how it's all come together um connection wise wiring wise so here you have L1, L2, L3. That's to monitor the three phase power coming into the compressor. So after your uh, contactor, you it will monitor if you're missing a phase, if the phase is backwards, and if any if there's any issues or problem with your the power supply in the compressor, it will lock out, and you'll see the red light will flash so let's just say uh, your contactor was to be pulled in or energized and you know what if you don't know what a contactor is let me show you real quick this here uh, I'm zoomed all the way in this here is a contactor okay that's basically passing power to your compressor to your load 
or to your fan mode or whatever. It's a contactor. It's a three pole, three phase contactor, all right? Uh, this one, the cover is off so you can see how it looks inside. And basically, it's a three pole switch. Normally open switch. Whenever you call for cooling, the switch, the switch um, uh, activates or closes, passing power to the load. Okay? Now, here's what it looks like with the cover on. And there's different varieties or variations. Now, I don't want to spend too much time on this because it's not what this video is about. All right? So let me get back to the compressor. So basically, up top here is your line power. And down here is the wires going to your load or your compressor in this case. Okay, so now you have your uh, three-phase um, power connection monitor hooked up. And you will take these three wires right here and you'll put them respectively on your compressor terminal one two three okay or you want to say line one line two line three l1 l2 l3 all right so that's what these are it's already come prefabricated ready to be sat below the screw terminal as you can see right there let me zoom that in You can see the red connector, the red connector right there. So there's one on each terminal. Alright? Now let's move on to the next connection. We have here T1 and T2. Now T1 and T2 is, is where you have your power supply uh, to your module. Okay, so if you if you were using this module your power supply would be 24 volts AC. In this case, uh, the voltage on T1 and T2 right now is either is 120 to 240 volts. Anywhere from 120 to 240 volts. Okay. And uh, then we look at we have uh, M1 and M2. Okay. So M1 and M2, that's your control circuit, or control circuit interrupter. So in other words, this will be basically be wired in series with your low pressure, high pressure. This one is in the back here. You can see that one is there. So you'll wire that in series with your uh, low pressure, high pressure controls, so that if there's any fault whatsoever with your three-phase power supply of your compressor or if the thermal uh, or, 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 or thermistor has been activated meaning that the compressor is getting too hot it will shut off the compressor and safety because it's wired in series with your generic high pressure and low pressure switches okay so that's where M1 and M2 comes in and then uh, you have now over here this right here is where you connect your thermistors. Let me zoom that in. So that's your plug right there. And this is this plug right here. And that goes onto the body of the compressor, these blue wires. It's connected to a thermistor inside. And that measures the temperature of the windings. If it's getting too hot, getting too hot, that's bad. They will, the, the controller will turn the compressor off because it's wired in series uh, with your safeties through M1 and M2 right here. So you know you could take uh, one hand from your high pressure switch, go here, right? And then the other hand uh, goes back into your low pressure switch from right here and carry on to your control circuit if you're a pro you know what I mean all right so it's in series with your safeties if you look at if you look at this instructions here it does say that
T1, T2, and there's a number one right here. If you go to the instructions, number one, module voltage. I mean, if you speak different language, that's what they're saying over here. I'm, I'm doing English. So T1, T2 is number one, and that goes to, that's your module voltage. Uh, M1, M2, says number two right here and if you go down here it says control circuits control circuit meaning you know the same circuit where your high pressure low pressure switch is wired your freeze protection your freeze stat all your controls this will be a part of your controls now m1 and m2 all right uh, this one here says number four and uh, number four is uh, phase sensing okay and uh this part here is number three which is the white plug in the back it's the white plug in the back right here that's it right here that's number three okay number three and what does that say thermal sensor do not short okay that's basically a thermistor inside that that plugs that white plug goes onto the thermistor inside the compressor and uh you know the thermistor is a, a temperature activated resistor based on um temperature as it will change with various resistance it could be the um positive temperature coefficient or negative temperature coefficient i don't know what it is but it is a hard okay all right so let's move on to the settings over here and this module do have right here if you're going to use Matbus if you're trying to uh, communicate if you have a, a building automated system or BMS system um, you can uh, use Matbus right here and you can actually real time see if this thing is in alarm the status of it if it's active what it's doing all right so I'm not going to that's a whole different topic or animal but just for this video right here to make this work that's what I'm covering all right so we can leave that part of the equation out now we go down to the settings if you are trying to use communication which is the Matbus section these terminals right here uh, that's going to be your settings for dip switches uh, number one through five one through five And here are your dip switches. This, this section right here is for the communication, mod bus communication. And then the only one you should be interested, interested in right now is basically number 10. You want to put number 10 on, like so. So, so down here, that's off in the bottom towards the bottom and when you go towards the top flip it, to flip, flip it towards the top it's on so you want to put number 10 on and number 10 short cycle protection you want that which means that if we have a thermal fault the windings get too hot and the controller locks out it won't automatically automatically turn on once the windings are okay it will there's a time delay in that also if the phase becomes incorrect if you're missing a phase or the rotation is wrong it won't automatically bump the compressor back on right away because now the phase is okay it will time out which is great that's what the, that's the feature you want to have a system like this to protect your compressor from short cycling okay so in this scenario i have number 10 flipped on compressor is running everything is green as you can see so I'm going to go ahead and create a false alarm. I'm going to unplug my thermistor. Now right away you can hear the compressor, it stopped. The light is still green there, but give it a few, we'll start to see the cold flashing. So no, no, that's two flashes. 
and two flashes stated here in the cordless so two flashes lockout trip open short motor thermistor so in this case we know it's open because we unplugged it or I unplugged it um, you're just watching this video I did the unplugging so I'm gonna go ahead and plug that back in now you know that even though I plugged it back in the compressor didn't start because I have number 10 set to on which is time delay so there's two ways you can get it back online right up get it back online you can wait for the timer the timeout or you can disconnect T1 or T2 break the um, um, pull the power so you can reset it uh, try to pull this wire out okay there you go so now it's off and uh, you see that so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back okay so it's green it's green once again let's wait for it here you go so we are reset now I'm going to demonstrate the second um, alarm uh, missing a phase so here we have you know L1 L2 L3 I'm gonna go ahead and pull one of these out indicating that we got a maybe a blown fuse you did see the fuse in the video earlier um, for the power for the compressor so let's we have a, we have a, we have a blown fuse now fuse is blown I'm gonna remove this wire and this is high voltage so don't do this at home okay so now we're missing a phase compressor turns off right away how many flashes is that one two three four five six six flashes now let's see what six flashes is okay blackout trip missing phase all right and if we have a rever reverse phase reverse phase that will be seven flashes okay I am not gonna do reverse phase I mean you I, I'm quite sure by now if you didn't know what this device is now you are aware of it you know how to wire it up you know how it works how to set it up and you are and you are not going to see this and know, don't know what it is I'm gonna go ahead and put this back the compressor won't start right away because I have this number 10 set to on okay so it won't start it will wait for the timeout I think it's about 10 minutes not sure but I can go ahead and reset it by doing this just pulling the power from T1 T2 or T2 just to reset okay so the power is off in the module and we'll go ahead and put it back okay so it's back online there we go and the compressor should turn on any second now there you go so yeah that's pretty much what it is you know I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick demonstration if you had number 10 set to off 